My name is Marta Castellano, and I am a veterinarian, an associate research professor, and I am actually the director of the Cornell Veterinary Biobank. I think we're impacting the world one sample at a time. So we are giving hope to patients, human patients, which are the owners of the animals that come through the doors of our hospital. I have sort of a personal experience with the biobank. I was actually diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer in 2017. Marta found me because of my diagnosis and my dog who was diagnosed with a thyroid problem actually donated a sample to the biobank. It is really comparing and using humans and dogs to find cures for things that are less curable at this point. If you think about the lifespan of animals, they're shorter, but they live in our environments and they have some of the same diseases that we do. If you're trying to do research studies on one, you can use both types of samples. And because animals have such a shorter lifespan, you'd see an outcome faster. ISO accreditation, it's really all about standardization. So if you are trying to conduct research from several different biobanks, then your research will be more robust and it will be of a better quality and you'll get a better output for that. I believe that supplies and equipment can contribute to the success of a biobank. We are more likely to get grants if we are accredited or we're using technologies that help us to achieve accreditation. Every piece of equipment has to go through the accreditation. And so we've partnered with Azenta to figure out exactly what needs to be provided as evidence for our assessors in the accreditation process. I believe Azenta eased our transition into accreditation. They've actually listened to our feedback and improved on the equipment that they offer. The samples never have to face the reduction of quality by interruption of the cold chain and freeze-thaw cycles. It has an insulated column where the samples will come up through. It just pops out the box that you need and you would put it in the cryopod. It's maybe for milliseconds could be exposed to, to room air as opposed to not just the samples that you are working with, but the whole rack. Those samples will no longer face that temperature excursion. They're in the insulated column. In every contribution, we actually double the potential because we're trying to change the lives of other dogs or cats or cows or horses, but we're also changing the lives of the humans. We serve the community that way. My experience with the employees at Cornell and the Biobank just feels like a family. I'm most proud that I can actually bring some hope with my research to people like Chelsea.